Hello, everyone. First, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Kantong Tip Jenta Chupa. Don't try to spell it, just call me John. I've never been good at giving speeches because of my anxiety, but Will gave me a gummy. My wife, Michelle, gave me a Xanax. Say hi, babe. So it's kicking in. I want to thank everyone for coming today and celebrating this glorious occasion. You know, weddings are amazing. It's when two people come together and proclaim that out of billions and billions of people living out there, this is the best man on the planet. So I want you to say thank you. You both were correct. <laughs> I already thought that I was better than everybody else. Now it's official. I'm, I've known Hogan since I was 13. We met in the seventh grade. So after 28 years, I got to know him pretty well. Now, usually a best man's speech is supposed to uh, roast the groom and make fun of him. But I decided not to do that tonight. You know, instead I wanted to talk about all the good qualities that Hogan has. Like for example, um, <laughs> Okay, thank you for everybody for coming tonight. Have a good night. No, actually, I wanted to share something uh, funny that Hogan did for me. This was actually during, during our high school. Now, at the end of freshman year, everyone is passing around their yearbooks and signing them. And usually, you have a page full of messages and signatures from a, a bunch of different kids. But Hogan wanted a whole page to himself. <laughs> So he took my yearbook, and I didn't get it back until the next day. So for those of you who can't see that back there, I'll just do my best Hogan impersonation. All right? So uh, here, let, let's go. Let's do this. Sup, son? About time, duh, year's over. Soon you be getting your license and hopefully your car, lounging, son, hooping, riding, and all that good stuff. Peace, friendships, eternal. You've come a long way, Hogan. Long way. Hogan likes to make references to music, and uh, Eternal was from a song from his hip hop, his favorite hip hop group at the time, which was uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Now, when Hogan said friendship's eternal, he really meant it. Uh, second photo, please. All right, so now after college graduation, Hogan did another special thing for me. Now, can everybody recognize that guy to the left? Point him out, please. And everybody, how about the guy in the middle? Hogan, obviously, right? Still look the same. What about the guy on the right? <laughs> so this photo was taken in 2003 at my wedding, and Hogan was my best man, giving his speech. So 18 years later, here we are again, reunited. The only thing that's missing is my hair, obviously. <laughs> now, Leanne, let's talk about you. No, I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna be nice. Now, actually, Leanne, you look absolutely stunning. Am I right? Absolutely stunning. Give it up, give it up. I mean, flawless, absolutely flawless. Matter of fact, the only flaw you have is marrying this guy. <laughs> Good choice, right? <laughs> now, um, the first time Hogan told me about Leanne, I knew she was the one. Now, if you go through her social media posts, you'll see pictures of Leanne and Hogan hiking. And uh, you'll see them hike up mountains and do a pose on top of the summit. Such posers. <laughs> Any other female would have thrown Hogan off that cliff. But not Leanne. That's how I knew she was the one. Now, I'll never forget the day that um, Hogan got engaged because he called me. And Hogan never calls me. <laughs> but it was actually a video chat, so I knew it was something important. 
And uh, when I saw his face, he had the biggest smile across his face. And um, I, he didn't even have to say anything, I already knew. I knew, I, I never saw him happier than he had ever been before. I wanna wish you two the best in all your life. Together, happiness, love, and your marriage be eternal. So now if you all join me in raising your glass to toast a happy couple. To Hogan and Leanne. Congratulations. Let's give it up for John one more time. Sup, man? Sup, man? <laughs>